Hey, I tried getting this to go live and I didn't have any luck. Um, hello, friends. Give me just a minute. I have moved around some of the stuff. Look at this. Are we getting organized? I didn't make it to the suitcase. Still living out of it, but all the things are getting set up. <sighs> Say hi when you are hopping on. Drop a one for the live and a two if you're watching the replay. Um, share this video and we'll do a giveaway. All right, so I I don't know if you've ever tried this. This is a strawberry acai refresher and I've already mixed my trim fit in with it. Um, it, is a, it is very sweet. If you don't like sweet stuff, you will hate it this way, but it's so good. Um, and then, I don't know, after I've sipped on it for a little bit, I am, this is kind of a mild pineapple flavor um, and it's like my ice is melted. I just kind of like, I do this even in my big things. I typically will do like, I don't necessarily love water just plain water. So I kind of like stretch out very flavorful things and I'll just add more. Now it's like greens, trim fit, some strawberry acai and more water so that like, I don't know. I'm just always, if I'm drinking water, it normally has either greens in it or trim fit or collagen or colostrum. Like I don't really just drink plain water, but I try to get in at least like 75 to 100 ounces of water a day. So, um, I got a lot of questions yesterday, just like weight loss questions. Um, oh no, I need batteries. I'm gonna stir. Just stir. Of like, what would you do first getting started? What would you, and the biggest thing I would say, like, is the, I mean, supplements help. They really do. Like they, if you feel better, you have more energy, but they are not like you take it and you eat pizza and you never move your body and you're going to see big changes. Like it really, they help. Like I feel like it helps you get like a little extra oomph, but I, the biggest part is like you, like your mindset, your, um, are you like ready to put in the work, ready to make some changes? And if you're not ready to make big changes, then like, okay. Like, or how quickly do you want to get to your goal? Or, um, like, are you okay that this takes you a little longer, but you, you know, are eating a little more comfortably? Like, currently, that's where I'm at. I'm like, I am eating pretty good most of the time, and then a few cheat meals a week, and I'm maintaining, and that's really good for me. Uh, but if I wanted to lose, like, an extra more 10 pounds or something, then I'm going to have to like buckle down. So in the beginning, started like moving my body, started not anything crazy, but like 30 minutes a day, three times a week. And then, you know, you like grow from there. Do you, if like, if cutting out everything is too hard, then start with like soda. That's where I started. Like, where am I getting like drinking? And so that also, like, I just like to be sipping on something and typically like, I would tip on Coke or Sprite or something. So when I changed that, I took out hundreds of calories and a ton of sugar by incorporating like things that taste good but are low sugar, things that taste good but that are good for my body. So anyways, those are just like my tips of starting, like realistically, like starting on a journey for health is like what are little things you can do um, that make a big difference. And like, for me, this isn't a sacrifice. I truly like the way these taste. Um, I think it tastes really good. So, where's the precious little helper? She's still serious. I can see if Adam will bring her up. Hey, Adam. Yeah. Hey, can you bring Beta up for a second? Nobody's seen her since we, she really is still here. Okay, yeah. But so that stretches it out. And when it gets down to about here, I will just fill it up with more water and it won't be quite as strong as this, but it helps me get in more water. Like those are just things that, I mean, have really helped me to not drink sodas. It's like incorporating things that are like the trim fit and greens just really make it to where I'm like, okay, I drink this collagen, the beautiful you collagen. You can mix it with water as well in like a big Stanley. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, you want to see Beta? Yeah. You're feeding baby Annabelle? Oh, hello. 
All my friends wanted to see you. Who? Huh? My friends, they wanted to see you. Can you say hi, friends? Hi, friends. Hi. Hi, friends. It's bright, isn't it? It's because we're right in front of a window. I know. It's so bright. It's. I want it's, to help uh, you. Here, can I you want that one. Okay, hang on. I can you show them Dad's glasses? There you go. Now it's not too bright. Who's this baby? Uh, baby Annabelle. Baby Annabelle. They, can you feed her? Yeah. <laughs> can you feed her? Stuck on her ear and her. Oh, watch out. There you go. Yeah, you can feed her. So, hey, Veda, where do you live? Uh, to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> I want that one and help that one. Um, no, I already, I already did it. I already no, made it see. without you. Here, I'll have you take her back. I was just going to have her say hi. It's too bright for her to be right here. Um, she's definitely dad's twin. She said during Christmas, it gets like super cold. No, I want to help oh, that's you cool. from that one. Here, Come on, girl. This. No sunscreen right now for you, okay? Do you want to get some downstairs? Want some? Okay. We'll All right. Um... Yeah, so you could even mix like half Trimfit and uh, drink it throughout your day. Um, just finding things that you can put into water, I found that's really, really helpful. Um, it is, so I have us like right in front of, I'll show you, right in front of a one, like a giant set of doors. Look how pretty it is here. So um, on the opposite side, uh, it like where I am, so the way that I can, there's a gnat, um, get a lot of good light on my face so you guys can see me. I normally have a bunch of either lighting equipment or um, ring lights or I'm in front of a door. This is actually better. So as the sun comes up, it just gets really bright. Okay, so Palmafera has um, 99 cent shipping. Whoop, whoop. They have not done this in a long time. Um, so if you, are looking for a good skincare. Um, I absolutely love Palmafera skincare. I've been using it for years now. It has really changed my skin. It is a waterless um, skincare. It, so it doesn't have any of the, the water. It's just a pure oil and it absorbs into your skin. And um, Palmafera is fantastic uh, for being like microbacterial, antibacterial, antifungal. Um, it's good for sunspots like uh, wrinkles, deep wrinkles, small wrinkles. It is good for uh, helping close your pores. Um, so I did self tan this morning. I am not going to shower it off. Mixed reviews on this, but I am going to do, I want it to like absorb into my body. I'll show you my legs. Like I just want to be like tan. So Adam picked up some sunless tanner from the drugstore and I'll I'll actually go on Amazon and see if we can find it there as well um, but it smells really good and it's, so far I'm liking the color but I'm just gonna put my skincare on over top of my sunless tanner I'm going to put sunscreen on over top of it and I'm gonna let the sunless tanner stay on all day uh, if the voice is not matched hop out of the video and hop back in is that for everybody or just one person Okay, so plump. This has hyaluronic acid in it. This is going to help with your skin having that really glowy look. Tightens your skin. Um, so. Really get those like lines around your lips, right around your crow's feet. Got like sleep in my eye. So the sun comes up. Have you ever seen like Hotel Transylvania? And it's like a kid's movie, but it's like, it's not scary, but it's like a vampire dad that has like family and he's like opens up his coffin and like the sun's like, ah! that is how the sun comes in in Puerto Rico. That's the only way I can describe it is it is like at five ten in the morning, the brightest sunshine you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> it's like comes in. Um, so we have all been getting up very early here and, but it's been like such a good, like waking up naturally by the sun. It's just been really great. Um, it's 10, 11 here right now. 
your connection's good, good, fine on the video, sweet. So sometimes it can be like your own signal, like if you're watching from a device, a cell phone, and so sometimes you just have to hop in and hop back on or log into your own Wi-Fi just because you're streaming. Okay, Brighton, this has, so these are like my everydays. I use them before I do my makeup. Um, Brighton has vitamin C and E in it. And it's gonna help with evening out skin tone and taking away redness, um, which is really great. <laughs> the sun really is, it's so pretty here. So I've been looking at different floral arrangements that are for um, tropical plants. And so I'm gonna go out today and like clip some palm fronds and put them I found a vase in the closet here that was like from the previous owners and um, we're renting this house and they left us a good bit of stuff. So we have at least enough that we can kind of like make work for now, which is wonderful. Okay, if you're looking for something that just gives you the most beautiful glow, similar to what you get from a hydrofacial, this has lipids in it. Um, probably if I was going to tell you to buy just one product that every day you use it and you're like, I love the way my skin looks, it would be Revive. Um, that, or if you struggle with wrinkles or, um, skin tags or anything, the pure pomiferate oil is going to help the most with like, um, melasma, sunspots, wrinkles, and skin tags. So, but they have 99 cent shipping right now. They don't do that often. Um, I've actually ordered a few masks, like hydrating masks, um, and a couple things that should come in this week to try. I know Palma Fair has been sold out of a bunch of stuff, so but I believe this is back in stock, and so are a few of the other things. So, I'm like, yay, restock. Anybody else? I was like, this had been sold out for a while, and I was like, well, what am I going to do? Because I've gotten to where I really thoroughly enjoy it. I always go right around your lips. I also at nighttime, um, if you've ever watched my nighttime videos, um, I will go and I do these like super weird, like lymphatic massage. And I just try and get all of the, like if you ever feel like your sinuses are swollen, like all of it and I'll just go down and I just as I'm working this in I'll work it down into my lymphatic drainage system and just try and get all the toxins and puffiness like help your body out but it will uh I'll even use a gua sha like at night with the pomifera rose oil or even in the tub with my fingers and I will just kind of shape shape your face right so when things get tight that's when you get wrinkles so even like in your scalp um, there's also a lot of pressure points. You feel really silly doing this, but it makes such a difference. So even a pressure point for stress right on the top of your head, it only takes 10 seconds of stimulating that to help release all that pressure. And so I kind of do the same thing here. That's going to help your brows lift. If this area gets tight, your brows like can't lift themselves. So by doing this, it's like a natural, if you were to only do one side, you'll be able to tell a difference um, of like one side being higher than the other, but good morning. So if you've never tried this, um, then it just makes such a difference in like lifting your face. All right, am I gonna find a gym and a church there? Change gives you anxiety. So I really felt such a piece about like the changes here. There's just been so many open doors, so many, like we were invited to go to a service project yesterday. We were, um, we are gonna get plugged in with like certain things here. I feel like we, even like a few of the people that we know who have moved here and then the people we've met while we're here, I'm like, we might have more friends here in a week or two than we did back home uh, because I'm pretty introverted and here you kind of have to get out, you know? And so, and you're like taking your kids to go do things and there's other people there that are doing things. And so, whereas at home, I didn't really do a ton. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down because 
I don't want, um, I don't want like scrunchy hair. I just put it up so I could do skincare. Um, oh, I should have waited until I did like my sunscreen, but okay. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going in with the golden hour. Um, this is, uh, the super goop glow screen. I linked it in the description of this video. Um, so Adam and I both had work opportunities here and they kind of like fell in line together at the same time. And so, um, it was just an opportunity, uh, at first what we thought would be for the summer. And then now it's looking like it will be longer. And so we're really excited. Um, as soon as I know for sure if we're staying here permanently, I'll let you know. Um, but that's it. We just came down. I mean, <laughs> um, I think as you are grown up and you have a lot of responsibilities and children to feed and all the things that you're like, okay, um, you know, if you get opportunities for that, that makes sense for your family and, um, sometimes you just have to go for it. So, all right. So here we go. We're going in with, this is so good. And sunscreen is not optional here. It's like a necessity because it feels like you could hop back and forth over the equator. It's the sun is so like, if you go out without it, you will be burned. So the Camp Swan is our summer camp. We renovated it last year. It's in Tennessee, but it's actually an hour from our house. So we don't personally daily run the camp. We did all the renovations and it was a huge commute back and forth. Um, but once Camp Swan opened, we had like a manager that used to work with us at Jane and Kate actually, and has worked with our family for years. And so she actually lives there and manages it. And so I got too much, so I'm gonna go down my neck. Um, I'm gonna take some of this off. And... So that doesn't really affect us. We already have the um, people in place there. So other than we'll just probably go stay a little bit just for like family memories when we come back home, we'll still go back and forth um, to Tennessee some. So. We are in uh, Puerto Rico right now. And if you're like, I feel like I need life updates. Um, this past like two weeks, almost every live, I've gone into like tons of details. So if you feel behind, um, if you go watch previous videos, you will catch up. We have not done a podcast in a long time because um, and we even talked about like mailing our podcast stuff down here, but we haven't done one in a while. Um, I haven't found like a great work-life balance um, for doing the podcast because that was kind of a for fun thing and then how do I still do like the things I have to do for my job and then still have time to do all the things I have to do for my kid and then editing my kids and editing everything and so at some point I would love to do podcasts just for fun again or maybe even lives where like Adam and I just talk and hang out and you guys are on there with us um, but for now <laughs> one day you know as like this industry you see everybody doing all the things and I'm like, I want to do all the things. Um, and then sometimes I have to remind myself, like, you're not always in the season of life to be capable of doing all the things or you never know how much help other people have or how much time do they actually get to spend with their kids or how much time, like where your priorities are. I think there's certain seasons where your hustle, if you're self-employed, you know what I mean? Like where you're like, okay, I'm like really going to like stay up late, get up early. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to get all these things. And then you have other seasons where you're like, I'm burnt out. I feel like I've missed out on moments with my kids. Now I'm trying to like go deep with kids and then still try and balance like paying the bills and like all the things. And so, um, that would be like, I guess finding what makes you truly happy and not trying to just keep up with like everything everybody else is doing because I found that like some of the things everybody else is do like reels for example took up gosh 20 25 hours of my week like a long a long days multiple days of several hours a day and it was like I wasn't able to do lives which I really like <laughs> I was doing maybe one or two lives a week and then I was spending all this time on reels and I was like okay, for the balance of my family, I might not be able to have an Instagram that looks like other influencers' Instagrams if I want to spend a lot of time with my kids. 
but if I still got this in, it's still enough to kind of, and maybe I'm losing out on some here, but it's like just trying to find a balance. So if you feel like, hi, hi, I'm not able to do all the things everybody else says, me either. I get it. But, um, you know, that's okay too. Like, you know, you have to find what you're happy with. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get my makeup. And I think certain times, like, certain things fulfill you differently. Um, oh, no. I don't know where my thing is. Hang on. So, I think that there were seasons where, especially when I first got started doing makeup tutorials, doing network marketing, doing... I like had always, I've been told for so long that like, you're not good at anything, like, you know, um, just bad about myself kind of thing. And uh, then when I started having some, this is just like real talk. When I started having some like success where like, oh my gosh, I love you, I love this. Like that was very fulfilling. Because I was like, I had not felt like I was good at anything for most of my adult life. Like, it just felt like I fell short everywhere. Like, um, and so to feel like, oh man, like you're like moving up in a company or you're like, it was very exciting to me and I hustled hard and we were very, very poor and trying to like be able to keep our lights turned on, you know? And so it was like, oh, like the thrill of all of this. And so I feel like I rat raced it for a while. And if you don't keep up with that speed, your numbers do drop significantly. And it is a sacrifice sometimes to like not work all the time and to like spend time with your kids, spend time with your family. But I'm at a season where it's like, like even here, like we will significantly downsize here. We're gonna probably rent our house out back home so we make extra money. Like we are going to, like it will be a sacrifice, but I'm hoping that like we can have more family time together and more like I could dedicate certain things to this. And then, um, so I think you just go through seasons where you're like, okay, what do I want? Like what? Cause sometimes we're just trying to keep up with everybody else. And it's like, if I had to pick what is like something satisfying in my life, what would my day look like if I got to pick my ideal day? And if you haven't like evaluated that in a long time, is everything that you're doing actually fulfilling you or is it just because busy work that you think you're supposed to be doing like or like we've been in a season of purging and decluttering and donating for a while now because I was like I spend so much of my time like because I couldn't provide like if a kid asked for a toy or something for a while I've said no for so much of their life that I feel so guilty that like when they ask now I'm like yeah you can get a stuffy or you can get this and I'm like okay now we just have so much stuff is it really bringing us joy or it's just full of clutter and weighing us down. And so I'm trying to like, um, find balance in my life. And so as I go through that little balance journey, I will share it with you guys of how I'm trying to find balance. I also was trying to find balance of cleaning out, cleaned out everything. And now I don't know where anything is. Welcome to trying to be an organized woman. Give me a second. Sorry, friends. So what happens when it's messy? I know exactly where it is, but it looks like a bomb went off in here. So yeah, I haven't found a balance yet to keep my car clean, to keep my house clean, to keep my kids clean, to keep me clean, like to work, to be thriving in my career, but also thriving as a mother and then thriving as a wife and thriving as a baker and thriving as a good neighbor, thriving as a friend, thriving as a Christian. Like. What does that look like? Like, when does that like go down on my list where I'm like, when did I read my Bible last? Like when really that should be a big priority. Like if I have done more stories about outfits than I've done with like speaking to the Lord, then I feel guilty and I need to check myself for that. And so it's kind of like our world is just full of a lot of distractions. And so it's really, I think important to find like 
gosh, what brings you joy and what is weighing you down? And I am in a season of the things that weigh me down. Okay. You are a grown up. You can say no to people. You are a grown up. You can pick what you love and what you don't love. And if somebody told you, like, if you love it to have your dishes done at night, then do the dishes before you go to bed. And if you hate it, then go to bed with dirty dishes. Like, you are a grown up. And so, anyways, you are a grown up. Sometimes I feel like I need to be reminded I'm a grown up. Like, Sometimes I just do things because I'm like so stressed out and Adam's like, why are you doing this? I'm like, this is what you're supposed to do. He's like, says who? I'm like, I don't know. The internet. The internet. The internet sometimes makes me feel like I'm just not good enough. And that other people have so many talents, you know, that and you can compare yourself. And some people are just so good at juggling it all. And if you're not, you have special talents, you know? And yours might not look like somebody else's, but you're gonna be able to reach people that for kindness and love and joy and like all these things that other people would never be able to, you know? So each one of you has very special things about you. Tiny bit of foundation, just enough to blend this in. Good morning, good morning. So my life does not look right now like I'm sitting in a lawn chair <laughs> and I have a comforter two sizes too small for my bed because that's the only comforter I have right now and I haven't gotten to like go get a comforter for me and I've been taking care and my life is in a little bit of a up, up in the air, right? But I'm just trusting the process. And it, like we had people over last night and we literally had to sit in lawn chairs down in our thing. We don't have enough seating space. We only have two small love seats. One's like a pleather recliner and one's like a tiny love seat. And I was like, okay, do you guys want to come over? But let me just tell you what we're working with. And so, but I was like, really? Who says we have to have all these things before it's like so many times that I've not invited people over because my house doesn't look as pretty as their house or it's not as expensive as their house or I feel intimidated or like all these things. And it's like, who came up with these rules? Like, just love people. Like, and most of the time you'll find people don't care. Like they love it. Oh, you have a beautiful house, right? But it's like, if they're your friends, just because of what kind of house you have, they're probably not great friends anyways. And if you couldn't have them over when you've got like baby dolls and blankets and like shoes everywhere and they pop in early, like you want friends in your life that you're like, hey, care if I hop by? And you're like, the couch is covered in laundry. But if you don't care, you're welcome here. And that's what I'm looking for right now. Like, I just want to be like, Hey, it looks like we live here because we live here. So if your house looks like you live there, it's because gosh, you're doing a good job living with your children. Okay, so I used colors. Golden Hour was the shade that I used for um, my sunscreen and it is a glow screen and you can see I am glowy. And then I used Cardamon for Ophir Foundation. They do have a 20% off code. I'm going shopping today. I'm gonna to get a few knickknacks um, for my house. The way the house is set up here, it's like a bunch of 80s paintings and a bunch of, um, some of them are just weird, like weird painting. Let, let me show you, you might be into this, but it's not really my vibe. Follow me. I haven't really done home tour stuff because our house just isn't in order, but like this one's not too bad. But like this is a horse. This one here's a baby and a mom with no heads. Um, lots of like stuff like that. Um, so at some point I would like to uh, go get a few things. Um, here's like another 
some of these like maybe with a different frame could actually be cool um like i feel like this with like a more expensive frame could actually be kind of beautiful um and then some of them are just weird um so but today um going with a friend and we're gonna go get some things um, for our house. So several people from the same company I work with all moved here at the same time. And um, so we're kind of all going through this together. So that's been really neat. Okay, gonna go in with some bronzer, some setting powder. Sorry, this has been chatty. I've just been so chatty here. There's so much new um, to like talk about because it's new place, new things. Like, I feel like our lives have been going a little long because there's just so much going on. Okay, I go in with Ophir's setting powder and this is good especially to keep your makeup on all day and then also if you're sweaty. So anywhere you get sweaty, that's where I would put it. Um, I use the shade Butter. Uh, we don't know yet for sure if we're moving full time or if we're just here for the summer. So as soon as I do know that, I'll let you know. Um, right. These shorts, I linked them, but how cute are these? So I'm wearing a size 28, um, which is about, I think a seven in a seven, but they are high waisted and I feel like I've just been wearing these all the time, but they are only $34 and then the code SWAN20 saves you an extra 20% off and so it makes them under 30 bucks and they are really cute. They're like not super short and very high waisted. So get this, it has just been like blessing after blessing here. But one of the other founders who moved here for Beautiful You, they bought a house that was already furnished. We needed two twin beds for the girls' rooms. Um, they've been on a blow up mattress. Um, they haven't, we haven't been here long, but this week we got a big blow up mattress, but um, we were gonna go get twin beds for them. And so they were like, hey, uh, do you know anybody who needs twin beds? Because we're not going to be keeping these. And so we got two twin beds, two twin mattresses. Adam went and picked it up last night. And just like such a blessing, so sweet. And I just gave my mom a bed this week Right, I had an extra king size mattress that I won't be using. So I was like, why don't you go by the house and like in the truck, you can, you can have it. Like that way you guys can use it and everything. So I gave her a bed earlier this week. And then I feel like when you live your life, if you give open-handed, right? Like, uh, like you can see things come back to you. Like I always talk to Adam about like tithing, um, like giving back, like, 10% of more of what you make, like um, giving to the church, volunteering, like all of it. I was like, it is amazing to me how you will either see like spiritually or physically, like when you get, and so like, it's like, oh, like, you know, getting, not saying because I did that, like that I deserve or anything, but you just notice things and you just notice God being like, oh, like I didn't know when I gave her a bed that somebody else was gonna give me two beds and I just felt so loved. Like how sweet um, for somebody to do that. Yeah, God blessed us with two twin beds. Well, and see we live 
like 30 minutes from the Costco and we just have a van right now and we don't have a trailer or anything. And so we were like, I don't know how we could get bed frames in our car. They, I haven't found a delivery yet. And so these people only live like less than a mile away. So we were able to go get it with like the back of our trunk open and just bring it back home with straps. Whereas if we had to go to main road, couldn't have done that. And so it's like, not only did it work out, but it also worked out like logistically. Okay. Oh, if you don't use a good bronzer, you need to, like if you love bronzy look, you totally should try Ophir because I kind of go in really like dark and then I tap just all over. I just love bronzer. If you ever feel like you get too much, just take your foundation brush, which I just use my foundation brush for my bronzer. So that's a problem. Hang on. So anyways, I feel like everything's just, I'm just trusting God at this point in my life. Like literally, I feel like if we're here for the summer and that's it, then we were supposed to be here for the summer and that's it. And if we're here for longer, then it's because we were supposed to be here for longer. So, but just praying like over our lives, like God, if this is a door we're supposed to walk through, let the doors be big, wide open doors, like, like full of blessings and favor, like, order our steps and that we know exactly the direction you want us to go and if this is not supposed to be where our family is then like close doors make it difficult make it to be where it's like we know this is obviously not where you want us in this season and so um but as of right now i'm like i really think this is where we're supposed to be and so Um, going in with this color, this is a blush tape. I did not link it, sorry. I will though. Oh, I got it in my hair. <sighs> um, tapping. It's just like glowy beautifulness. definitely into the glow, the glow right now. I'm gonna have to go get that low volume because before I curl my hair, I have to brush it a little bit, at least. Um, all right, and then, so I need to get you links if anyone had wanted this, I'll get you a link for that. Okay, and this, I'll get you a link for that. Sorry, I didn't, sometimes I'm just doing it and I'm like, oh, I bet that would look really cute. like does it look like the sun has kissed me today oh yes yes it does okay i'm gonna go in with this on my look at that color i'll get you a link for this it is so pretty So there is Palmafera that can help with skin tags. The Palmafera Rose Oil is so good for that. And so is the Palmafera Heal Oil. Um, both of those, Palmafera is just such a good oil. Um, I am totally into all natural skincare um, and just like how it helps regenerate cells. And then like that is something because it's microbacterial and antibacterial and antifungal. Um, using bronzer for the crease here. It will actually uh, take away warts and skin tags. Christian had a bunch of warts on his hands that we were going to have to have surgically removed and they were just taking a long time to get us in at the dermatologist. We went to his real doctor, then his real doctor sent us to a dermatologist and we were waiting to get to the dermatologist and I was like, okay, 
I'm gonna have you start putting this on your hands every night and we our appointment was like four weeks away and so by the time it was time for him to go he didn't have warts anymore and so um, it's great for scarring I put it on my incisions um, at about 10 days after surgery so my scars for my reduction are like I wish there was a way to show them without being like showing breast scars but they are really like very very light at this point um and there's no texture bump at all like if you closed your eyes you could not tell where i had where i was cut um billowy just gonna be showing you so many different ways of getting a glow um, if you have uh, okay Liz said I had a skin tag or we weren't not sure what it was and the heel oil took it right off um, I didn't believe it until I saw it yeah it's so good it took about two weeks and it's gone it's amazing yay look at that see I get messages all the time like this pomiferi skincare is so good um, but same I had like skin tags under my um, breasts and um, just takes it right off. So Heal Oil by Pomifera is what's so good for skin tags. It does take a couple weeks. So use it every day. Um, not to mention, you'll notice your skin is very hydrated and very tight. Um, but you can also use it if you have bug bites, if you have abrasions, um, if like Veda gets a scratch. I mean, I use Heal Oil on everything. My kids ask for Heal Oil. Um, I use, like if I'm out of Heal Oil, I use the Pomifera Rose Oil. Um, so good. So Palmafera Rose has eucalyptus, coriander, rose oil, and Palmafera. Um, it also has coriander and let me see. Yeah, rose area. That's all the things. That's what it has. And then Palmafera Pure just has pure Palmafera oil. So if you're going to be using it for things like warts or different things where a blend of oils is really good like all of them have different properties that are good for certain things and so but the anti-aging part the biggest is um because of the palmafera oil is so good for um anti-aging and so if you're looking for just something for wrinkles and sunspots the palmafera pure is really good for that uh the link for palmafera is in the description of this video or you can drop the word me below um of oh, stretch marks i'll show you guys my stretch marks what they look like at this point keep in mind i've had four children um but even like loose skin um i feel like to have lost about 125 pounds like um none of my stretch marks are purple anymore i used to have very purple stretch marks um, and I feel like my skin's pretty tight. Oh my gosh. I still have, like, I found a bag that had a couple pairs of underwear and it's only like sexy underwear. And I just have not, uh, haven't been very sexy lately. And so I put on another pair. I, I wore Adam's on, not accident. Cause I could just couldn't find mine. And his like undies are so much comfier than the ones I have. So I've got to find my Ebby stuff. But if you're like, but here are my stretch marks. And I used heel um, oil on my, um, I used heel oil the whole time I was pregnant on my stretch marks and I never got, and I got gigantic with Veda. I never got purple um, stretch marks. And then my old purpley stretch marks are white now. So let me go get a little volume and I'm almost done. I'm gonna put mascara on. So. Big fan of Palmafera. Great. I'm not even turning this on. I just want the brush. Actually, hang on. I'll end up, I have to finish the makeup, then I'll do it here. Distracted. Okay, Kathy, I'm 52 and I was struggling with lines on my face, especially around the eyes, and Palmafera oil has practically vanished them in less than two months, too. Whoop, whoop. Uh, men's underwear is, um, so comfortable. I know. Also, here's the thing. If you want to know the real truth, Adam has already put all of his stuff in his closet and my suitcases are all still downstairs, <sighs> except for this one. And it just has a couple bathing suits and like clothes I've been living out of. And so I haven't brought my own underwear up. So I'm like, 
If I would go through all my bags and I would bring it all up, I'm sure I would find plenty. But I also just don't want to go down there. Like after you get out of the shower and you're tired and all the things. And so... Oh well. I found the baby monitor yesterday. And so we finally have the baby monitor. Um, I just need to spend a day where I'm going through everything and putting it all away. That's really what I should do today. But instead, I'm like, why don't we get out of the house? I really haven't gotten out much since we've been here. I like took the kids to the water park and then I've got, but I haven't done anything for myself. Even yesterday, Adam was going to get those mattresses. He left and for, I was like taking care of Ada and she like laid her head on the couch and I just like sat there for a minute and I was like, and I was like, it's the first time I've been alone in like two weeks because we had a lot of friends kind of coming over and helping us get packed and stuff into boxes and like it was just a really chaotic last like week and a half ago and then and I needed all the help right but I'm such an introvert I truly am you might not know it because I talk to my cell phone and you guys right here but I don't actually see people but like some people are charged when they see people and hang out a lot and I'm not really I kind of need like a little bit of alone time or I get over simulated and so I was like I have not uh oh Everybody okay? Okay. Um, I'm like, I have not um, had any alone time. And so I'm like, today I'm going to do something that, ah, uh, that I want to do. Don't do it. Don't touch it with your finger. I know you're tempted when you do this. Let it dry and use a spoolie. Uh, what does Veda think about it? Oh, she just begs to go to the beach every day. She like loves it. We, the pool water here is warm. So at our house back home, she will not get in the pool. Um, like she'll sit with her feet above the front first step, but she won't get in at all. And here she is like jumping in and her sisters kept quoting minions tonight. We steal the moon and then they'll jump in the water. And so now she's quoting it and she's jumping in the water. And so she's jumping in with her floaties. The water is really warm here. And so she's just like swimming, which I think is so exciting. So she's loving the beach, she's loving it here. She says this is her birthday house, which her birthday's in December. So I'm not sure why she's calling it that. Um, but she'll be like, am I going to, are we going to our birthday house? in Puerto Rico? And I'm like, yes. And every day she's like, tonight is my birthday. I'm like, that's fun. And then she'll ask if we can have cake. <laughs> Alexi just had her birthday, you know, recently. And so I guess she's like, I kind of like birthdays. Um, They make women underwear boar shorts house still comfy but not uh but in prettier colors and fabrics so really what i need to do is just bring i need to bring my underwear upstairs and i need to go through all of it and i need to find like my comfy undies i know i have them either in a box or in a suitcase i just i just haven't done it i need to What I use for makeup remover? I use Palmafera's Erase Pre-Cleanser and it melts all your makeup off. Like you spray it on, let it sit for 10 seconds and then rub and it just like whoop, just disappears. And then I um, will use Palmafera's face wash.
So I do wanna find a gym, I haven't done that yet. Um, it gets hot here early in the day. So kind of what I found is if I'm gonna get in a routine of something, I either need to do it late at night or early in the day. And so, but Adam found a Planet Fitness not too far away, so maybe we could go there. Um, or he's also talked about just buying weights. I've talked about just doing like a YouTube video or something. Um, like watching like dancing on YouTube or like just doing some at home uh, workout. Really the biggest thing is I just need to like move my body. But I am giving myself a little bit of grace but I don't wanna get out of the habit or the routine because I'm the type that it's like, okay, if I don't do this for a few weeks, I will then be like, it was like a decade before I hopped back on the wagon. So I don't want that to happen. I can tell a difference in like my body definition, like muscles I've not ever seen before. Um, so I don't want to lose that necessarily. Um, uh, I do feel like because my hair is so dark, I don't know where my brow liner is, but I would really like to do my brows. I might not have packed it, so might be no brows for me for a while. Um, Like I drew that a little high. If that ever happens, just get your magic spoolie and brush it out. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it happens more than others when you do your makeup in a phone. Like I'll hop off sometimes and be like, huh, how did I do that? It looked really cute, I thought, and then I'll see myself and be like, that's not, <laughs> that was not the look I was going for. I don't see my spoolie. So I've yet to drive since I've been here. Um, I'm not on the insurance for the rental van. And so Adam drives wherever I go. But the driving here is kind of different. Like it's, everyone is really nice. They're like, if you're gonna go pull out, people just slow down for you. But also it's very fast. So it's a little different than back home, but no one honks. No one, everyone is very considerate driver, but it's a very fast, like cars are just going, but it's very fast. I don't know how to describe it. Like, but yet, uh, like you're trying to pull into Chick-fil-A or something. And normally back home, you just have to wait for like 40 people to pass because no one is gonna let you over. And here it's just like, oh, they just slow down and let you in. Everyone here that we have met has just been so nice. So kind of gives you a more polished look if you do your brows with a liner. I felt like I did this one a little high, so I'm just gonna kind of make that one match. Today we will be the woman of high brows. Found the spoolie, it was under a brush. Okay, see how much softer it gets when you kind of take a spoolie and brush it out? Okay, 
now we're gonna go in with lips. I might have some lips over here. Uh, if you're looking for something that is an amazing hydrating lip, who's that from? You? Oh, that's so nice. And a tripod. Look at that. Uh, went to the post office. You got me flat. Here, come show them. Oh, sweet. Post office is amazing. Oh, yeah. Everybody's like so, so nice. Clean. Everybody's so nice. So clean. Everybody's so nice. It really is. What does it say? I'll put this downstairs. I think it's new. <laughs> fresh. New. Fresh. fresh. Thanks. <laughs> I thought you were trying to write me a Spanish love note. No. We've been practicing our Spanish and he's learning. Oh, hey, come here. Tell the, how do you say this is my wife? He was practicing it to like All interview. Right. Okay, come here. How do you say this is my wife? Um, come show off your Spanish. We've really been practicing. Um, thank you. I'll put these in water. Just really nice. Uh oh, it's like whenever you're. But Daynada is you're welcome, yeah. and somebody was like, "Have a good day," and he was like, "Daynada." Like it's almost when people are talking to you because we don't speak the language, we just are saying completely wrong words. Adam, yeah, sure. You look so cute. Yeah, she looks so cute. Yeah. He doesn't want it. Me amo. Me llamo Adam. Me llamo Courtney. Este es mi esposa, Courtney. Este es mi esposa, Adam. Este es Christian. Este es Lola. Yeah, and este then he's using es... that accent. And so, or he'll be like, hola. And I'm like, that's like us going in places and being like, hello. Um, so I'm not sure what people are going to think about it, but so far everyone's thought, I think. Hello. You thought Daynada meant no problem? Yeah. You're probably right. Maybe. I thought it meant you're welcome. Gracias. De nada. Thank you. I thought it was true. I, I was homeschooled for high school and I never did um, learn Spanish, obviously. We did have a family from Mexico growing up that lived in our basement. <laughs> if you wanna hear about some childhood. Um, so we had neighbors that went through a divorce and so he, the husband ended up living with us and then this is i was probably 10 <laughs> and then his family <coughs> ended up getting broken in on um and they needed a place to stay and so they lived with us for probably six months i don't know so you would think i would know more spanish but they spoke zero english and so um I really was teaching them more like, this is how you say oven. And I made little post-it notes. And I did, I did more, I guess like, I had a lot of fun with it, um, of trying to teach them English. And they would get so excited when they got it right. And that was like really exciting for me. And so I should have been like, how do you say oven? Do you know what I mean? It's nothing. Okay, good to know. Get, but we're gonna get Rosetta Stone and we are, we're gonna learn this. Practice with you guys. Um, dry shampoo, that's what I need. Are you guys enjoy, is it too long? Are lately videos too long? Would you prefer just makeup? Or just hair? Or, I'll probably do a mix of both, but I feel like here lately I'm just doing like a little bit of everything. Hmm. With that said, I have not recorded a single tutorial for Laundro Fear since I got here, so I've got to do that at some point. So typically that's what I will do back home. I would like pre-record doing my makeup and then I edit that and submit that to a brand and then I live my hair and then I do a video talking about what tool I use and I send that and I had like, but right now I haven't been doing that so I gotta work on finding a balance. Here lately I'm like oh I'm just doing no I just feel like there's been so much fun stuff to talk about I feel like it just flows so much better doing it like this 
Okay, so I still have some curls from yesterday, but the humidity here is a lot. So they're honestly not great. Uh, but I did do quick curls yesterday. So it was like maybe five minutes to do my whole head. Um, I'm just going to like refresh this. Oh, the literal definition means of nothing intended to be used as you're welcome. Look at me, doing it right. What am I gonna do without Natalie? So Natalie used to work in office every day when we had the boutique. When we went, when we had to close Jane and Kate, um, she went remote part of the time. So she has a toddler, or he's actually five now, but she has kids. Um, so she didn't come to my office, like our house or like every day. She'll still work for me. She'll still let me know all the things like, hey, you need to do this, or hey, like, here's information you need to know, or like this morning she texts me like, hey, did you see Paul Mafira has 99 cent shipping? You know, like, I am, if you've met me, you know, I'm a little like, Whoa. and so she's so great to make sure I know all the things so I can tell you guys all the things. So it will change nothing other than, I won't get to like, side by side, hang out with her. Um, but I didn't do that every day anyways. So, um, I will still definitely see her every time I come back into town. Um, I will still talk to her multiple times a day, every day. <laughs> um, I just won't be, but we don't like live. We are like, um, 45 minutes from each other anyways. Like we don't live really close together. So most of what we do was already remote. So How easy is this? I did not link, I didn't link launch. If you go to CourtneySwan.com though, I do have a launch link and discount code. Sorry friends, I should have linked it. We missed Jane and Kate too, but for what? It was, that was hard, COVID was really hard on us. Um, and for what we put into it as a business and what we lost and may, sometimes like I think you have to make decisions as a business owner that are really hard but you're like if we keep doing this we will lose everything we have and that was kind of one of those moments where it was like okay we can't keep doing this whereas in the beginning it was so good like um the way Facebook was the way our lives were the way um, sales were the way and then COVID just changed things like and Facebook did an update that made it to where like we went from getting thousands of views per video to just a couple hundred and it just really changed like um, and I was pregnant with Veda we we're going through a lot with Christian like just it just for a lot of reasons we had to close that but I'm proud of us that we went after it that we tried it that we did it and I think doing things that are hard and scary sometimes like shows you man like can you believe we did that you know and then sometimes you look at it and you're just like okay in order for us to do like like this i can't it's one of those things right that we were talking about earlier where everybody else is doing it how do they juggle all of it and it's so it looks so fun or i bet i could do this and this but that season was like gosh i was at the warehouse all the time. I was like doing lives all the time. I was not, I mean, I was hustling really hard, but my kids were like on an iPad at, at the warehouse, you know, while I was doing stuff and um, nothing wrong with that. Like they were safe and it allowed us like, you know, a job and everything, but it just, it was like one of those, okay, if I want to show up the way I would like to show up, then we have to do some things differently. Um, so that's what we did. Woo, to help with getting your housework done, set a timer for 30 minutes and just concentrate on unpacking and organizing for 30 minutes. Then when the timer goes off, you've earned time away. That's what you have to do. I love that. We uh, do a 10 minute tidy with the kids. And it's kind of similar. We set a timer, like with Alexa, we're like set a timer for 10 minutes. And then everybody tidies for 10 minutes. Like how many things can you pick up? How many, like all that. And then when it goes off, 
everybody can like get a break. Um, so I need to do that. I had not thought of that. So thank you. You're so sweet. Everybody is so nice. Everybody's so nice. Like see, this side fell really pretty. If this one had done the same, I probably would have left it like this. Um, so on this side, I'm, hang on, let me show you. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take my hairbrush and I'm going to brush out the curls that I just did. And I'm gonna see what my hair looks like, okay? Because I love like the messy kind of look. And now I'm gonna make this side look a little more like like this so now I know what it's gonna look like brushed through and now we're just gonna add a few pieces like especially front framing pieces so if you go to CourtneySwan.com I have an Amazon storefront and that is where whoa, that's where this charm necklace is from if you ever do it too fast run through or too curly held it too long I kind of run through the flat iron part through. So CourtneySwan.com, click Amazon storefront, and that is where you're gonna see, like there should be a jewelry section, and this necklace is linked. I can also put it in the description of the video after this is over. I have a couple other links I need to get for you guys. Okay, clamp and just rotate it. I kind of hold it at like a little bit of a diagonal. It puts the right amount of pressure. It is by far the easiest tool. Uh, le like Lexi can use it, you clamp it down, rotate, rotate. Um, it's also like, it's hot to the touch, but not hot like a curling iron. So, all right, if you're late to hopping on, Palma Ferry does have 99 cent shipping um, today through Sunday. So they haven't done this in a while. So if you're needing skincare, it's a great time to stock up. Their skincare is also super affordable. So um, like the Erase Pre-Cleanser is under $20. Uh, it's a very affordable skincare brand but it's also really good. You couldn't find the charm necklace on my storefront? Ah, Amanda, I'm so sorry. Let me, um, as soon as I hop off here, I will um, go and I'll get the link and I'll put it in the comments. So I'll find it for you. I'll just like go to my orders and then I'll make sure it's in my storefront for everybody. I could have not put it there. Sure. So the back section is the one I feel like you can really tell you slept on it. So always be sure you grab like top back section and add a little curl or two. Do you hear Veda? She says, I need to go upstairs and see mommy. She said, see you at the top. She wants to come up here. Yes, and don't forget if you have reward points to use your reward points because they do expire. Um, you will get an email saying your reward points are gonna expire before they do. But yeah, don't forget to use those. Their body soap and oil is so good, especially if you have crepey skin. Um, like the crepey texture, their body wash is really good to tighten that. Okay, I'm gonna use a lip liner and chapstick today. If you see spots that look uh, like too straight, just go in, pop a little curl. Can you hear her? Uh oh, here she comes. She's running. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna hold you. You can 
hold me. Give me one second. This is kind of hot. Mommy. You can see me. Hang on. Did you escape? Yeah. She's running up the stairs. I know. I heard her coming. She looked like she was running like as fast as possible. Come here. Here you go. You want to sit? You want to tell everybody bye? No, oh, not to... yet. Not yet? You don't want to tell everybody bye? No. Not yet. I need that. Okay, it's get it. lipstick. Yeah, get your lipstick. She loves this stuff, but oh, she's gotten a hold of it before. Beta, look how gross it looks now. Okay, now you can use it. She's dug her fingers in here. Okay, don't put your fingers on it. Just put it on your lips. Yours won't look like this. Okay, don't eat it. Okay. I know it's hard not to. I'm not done yet. Okay. Okay, I think you're good. No, I'm not done yet. You're not? No, I'm not. Um, I'm not doing enough. You not, haven't done enough? No. I think you have. I'm not done yet. Okay. You keep doing you. What's her name? Who? My name? My name is Courtney Swan. What's your name? No. What's, what's the daddy's name? Daddy's name? Adam Swan? No. What's the dragon's name? The dragon? Yeah. The red one. Dragon. On the movie? No. The red one. I don't know, honey. Oh. You'll have to show me and I can tell you. I'll link this as well. So this is just a, almost the same color as my lips, but you can make it kind of full. Yay. Do you like it? I'm not ready yet. You're not? Yeah, you are. I'm not done yet. Okay. Huh. I'm the team doing this. Hey, what do you do at the beach? Uh, play with sandcastles. Play with sandcastles? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Do you go in the ocean? Yeah. Do you see fish? I don't see fish. You haven't seen them? No, I need it. Okay, can I use some? Yeah. Okay, mm, my favorite. That's very, very moist. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to give you this one and me just get one of my own. I need it. I need the um, lipstick. Okay, put the lid on. Okay, no, so this I really is good if you have... I'm not done yet. Okay. If you have bad chapped lips, it's the Pomifera Happy Salve, and um, they have a lot I'm of different, like, flavors and lipstick. scents. Okay, here. Can you do this instead? No, I need it. Um, ah, yeah. I need ah. it. Okay, anyways, we're going to hop off here. But I if you haven't tried Pomifera's Happy Salve, they are really, really... Um, great at hydrating your lips or helping with like uh cracking so anyways she's i'm gonna have to take this from her and i have a feeling it's not gonna be pretty so uh anyways if you have questions about anything send me a message and um all the links are in the description of this video i will link the other products that we yet. used that i had did not provide links for like no, um lip liner and um no. blush uh oh all right we're off here bye you guys have a good day. The, can you say bye, friends? I, I want this. I know you do, but you can only have so much. What's the top? It's over there. You dropped it. Do you want to get it? Okay. All right. Bye, y'all.